Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of functional equation, we'll be solving here f square x times f of 1 minus x over 1 plus x equal to x square. While solving this problem, we'll use substitution, very common method. We'll use algebraic manipulation and then we will replace variable, functional variable here. So let's get started. I will substitute 1 minus x over 1 plus x equal to t. Let me write 1 minus x over 1 plus x. Something very exciting is about to come. Okay, cross multiply, find out x as a function of t. Okay, I will take x towards right and t towards left. So 1 minus t will become x times 1 plus t. So ultimately x is coming out 1 minus t over 1 plus t. Same function it is coming out. Once you change the variable, if I will replace t with x, I am getting same function, same rational function I am getting here. So this is the beauty of this function. This rational function is a special. Remember always 1 minus x over 1 plus x. Once you will give any substitution to this, you will get again same function with different variable. So you can swap or you can replace that variable by the original one. Then you will get one extra functional equation which, which you can use in solution. So this is what I am going to do here. Now I will put x as a function of t everywhere. So let me write here f square x I would write 1 minus t over 1 plus t times f of t equal to 1 minus t over 1 plus t whole square. Let's consider this is equation 1. Okay. Now I will give change of variable. So I will swap t with x. So equation will convert f a square 1 minus x over 1 plus x times f of x equal to 1 minus x over 1 plus x whole square. Now let's consider this is equation number 2. Okay. Now what I am going to do, I will find out f of 1 minus x over 1 plus x from equation 1. So let me write here from 1. I am going to calculate f of, let me write here, 1 minus x over 1 plus x would be x square over f square x. Okay, divide both sides by f square x. So we will get f of 1 minus x over 1 plus x is equal to x square over f square x. I can write this one as x over fx whole square. Okay, let me consider this is our equation number 3. Now what we will do, we will solve equation 2 and equation 3. How? I will Put the value of equation 3 in equation 2. So from equation 2 and 3. So let me put their value. I will write f is square x. So where I am putting here, this value I am going to put over here. So what we will get, I am writing f is square 1 minus x over 1 plus x. So this is, I will write x over 1 minus x whole square again whole square okay times fx equal to 1 minus x over 1 plus x whole square let's simplify so it was it was fx here na? okay now it is correct so I can write x power 4 over fx whole power 4. So let me write here 4 times fx 
equal to 1 minus x over 1 plus x whole square. Now I will cancel 1 fx. So it will be left with 3. So x4 over f cube x equal to, let me write this, x power 4 over f cube x. 1 minus x whole square or 1 minus x over 1 plus x whole square. Okay. Now cross multiply both sides by f, f cube x or directly I can write f cube x would be equal to it will be 1 plus x over 1 minus x whole square it will revert times x power 4 okay this is I can write 1 plus x over 1 minus x in bracket x square whole power 2 or whole square. Okay. Now raise both sides power 1 over 3. So let me do that. So I will be having now exponent property. See here it will get cancelled out and right hand side we are having exponent property. So this 1 over 3. Let me write that property first a power b whole power c we can take the product of exponents so this 2 and 3 will get multiplied so i will write 1 plus x over 1 minus x times x square whole power 2 over 3 now this is our fx and this is required answer now one thing we can do, we can verify this result. Some other forms also you can write. If you will put this fx into the given equation, it will satisfy with the right hand side, which is a x square you will be getting. Okay. What, what are the other forms of fx we can write? This is 1 plus x. We can take the exponent separately. So it is again exponent property. I will write whole power 2 over 3. X power 4 over 3. This is how A times B whole power C. Then we can write A power C times B power C. This is we have used the property. So we can write 1 plus X over 1 minus X whole power 2 over 3 times X power 4 over 3. Now, if you want to verify, see equation is there, you have to put there, it will come out x square. So, this is our final answer. And you can check in our original problem, x equal to minus 1 was not in the domain. All real x, see earlier it was x not equal to minus 1. Now, you can see x not equal to 1. So, once you are changing your functional variable, it will change its domain. Domain means where function is not defined, you can restrict for which values we can not pass or we cannot satisfy the equation. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and always remember function 1 minus x over 1 plus x. This is very very important function. Bye bye for now. We will meet in next video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe.